And somebody asked me how I tie a muddler. I suppose it's pretty much the same as everybody else, but I'll... I said I'll make a video. Got a size 6 hook in the vise, 30 denier GSP. I'm just going to take my thread back. And okay. Get it just in front of the barb. And then for the uh, tail, uh, I just use these smaller, softer turkey wings. Uh, I get a left and a right so that um, I can match the sides. And I'll pull two slips off. I already pulled the one, but I'll do this one on camera. So I just take it off and then I'll pinch tight and remove the stem from the barbs and not the barbs from the stem. And you just gotta line them up. You want to try to get fairly close to size if they're not 100% perfect. I'm not sure that it's a serious deal breaker. Um, Come out the tail oh, about that far. Leave it up. Do a couple pin traps, and then when I release it, I can just set it down and I'll pull up. And that sets my tail. Put a few wraps in over the top. That's fairly good. And I'll tie this. And just with open spirals coming forward, leaving it all on top. Try to keep that bulk in the same place and not let it go all over the fly. It really helps with the body. Okay. And I like to add just a drop of glue right at the back on that tail. Okay, that's pretty good. Next, I use uh, put my or I put my rib in, I should say. And for this one, I'm just using a silver oval tinsel in size small. And tie this in on the side, pull it underneath, and put a few wraps in, and get it out of the way. For the actual body, I'm using medium silver tinsel from UTC. Yeah. I want the uh, silver side to be the body color, so you you want to tie the silver side to the hook shank so it can fold over. And I'm gonna, whoop. get it on the side, just pull it, and I'm gonna hold on to both of these as I wrap this all back, just tying them in together at the same time. Okay, that's good. And then as I come forward, I'll tighten all this stuff down. Try to smooth it out a fair bit. This one's just going to get fished, so I'm not I'm not needing presentation fly quality smooth. Then I'll go back to my super glue and just wipe some on the top. So that way it 
it'll uh, the glue will catch my uh, tinsel and it'll help keep it on there nice. Wrap this forward. more wraps and there we go there we go some people like the uh, gold muddler some people like the silver muddler and I'm tying this for one at a silver one and I'm going to take my tinsel and cross wrap this coming forward. They're not terribly difficult to tie. They can take a little practice though. Reverse it, trim it out. <clears throat> and since uh, this fly will be fished. I what I'll do is I'll take some uh, clear Sally Hansons and give the body a good coat just to help lock it all together, help it hold up a little longer. And take a. Bodkin and. And rub this in and remove any excess that's th there. We don't have any drips. Okay. Now for my wing, I'm going to go back to the same turkey. Make my wing a little bit bigger than my tail. This left and the right, Whoop. left and the right, you just got to kind of, I don't know if I can do this like this, get my tips together, whoops, nope, I felt folded over on itself, don't want that, You just want tip to tip, like so. And did not get that even. There we go. That's pretty good. And we'll take the wing just, just back. Oh, it's about the bend. Maybe just a little bit past. Do same thing, do a double pin trap when it's elevated, pull up to set it. It turned out good. Oops. Tighten. Tighten your wraps down pretty good there. Trim all that out. Clean it up so we can spin the head pretty easy. And then again, I'll. Here we go. I'll use just a little bit of glue on that wing at the base. 
Okay. Next, you want a fair amount of deer hair. And you want to clean it out good. I just use this dollar store comb. Just make sure it's cleaned out real good and we'll stack it. Some people don't like to stack the hair. They kind of like the messier look. Uh, some people like the stacked look. I'll go with the stacked look here. And <clears throat> I want this hair to sit fairly, oh, three quarter to the point, something like that. Two loose turns over, pinch, slide, pull. And I'll start to wrap this th thread through the hair. Okay. I still got just a little tiny bit of room, so I want to add just a little bit more hair to fill in that slot. You got to be careful when you get that close, though, because it's super easy to add too much. And I'm not going to stack this or anything, just get it on there. And just work my thread through. Oops. Get it up right behind that eye. And I'll whip finish just like that. I'll add a little glue later. Oftentimes that glue just gets cut and all that deer hair anyway. And trim out the tag, or the uh, thread, I mean. Okay. I'm gonna pull this out and move it all around where we want it to go. Okay. I'm going to take my curved scissors. I'm going to start fairly high up. That way I'm not cutting into anything. But we can start to get a general shape. And I'll start to work it down. And one of the tricky parts is getting your cut in your head and not your hair. So I'll kind of invert my scissors a little bit and sneak them up kind of at an angle just to give myself uh, kind of a boundary on the back side. Help me from accidentally cutting the deer hair that's flared to the back. And now I'll angle my scissors at about the same angle as the uh, downed eye hook. And this part can take a little time. And 
come in in a different angle. I started using these curved scissors to do this oh, a couple of years ago. I'll tell you what, it's made things a whole lot easier. Really, really enjoy doing it. Wish I would have started using these a lot sooner than I did. Would have saved me a ton of frustration. And you just want to trim this until you're happy with it. Make sure you don't get crazy. And that's really it. Sometimes easier said than done, but these can take a little practice. But it's a good way to start to learn to spin deer hair, is tying muddlers. Give you a good idea of what it's what it's like. And there you go. Silver Muddler Minnow. Uh, if you like the video, as always, appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And as always, everybody, happy tying, take care, and we'll see you next time.